We've touched the issue of democracy, the issue of corruption, the issue of investment, the issue of the derivative of the Bank of Ghana. But as you all know, I know what you're thinking exactly, which has to do with Brazil. With a few months to Brazil 2014, as you all know, Ghana is going to win the trophy. But let me get back to it. How has preparations been so far? Issuing visas to Kenyans. To wow. <laughs> well, I shouldn't be here with you. I should be issuing visas. <laughs> uh, well, Ghanaians have been very late in presenting the visas. At this stage, I must say that I'm executing a B plan <laughs> because my A plan oh, is oh. over because, you know, we are uh, 35 days to the World Cup yes. and I have not given 500 visas. And people said that some four or 5,000 Ghanaians are going. Mm -hmm. So now what we have is we have shifts of work. We have people working uh, early in the day, during the day, late in the evening, weekends. So we are prepared to get these visas and work on them. Uh, I have to, now I'm selecting, for instance, some people are presenting visas to go to the quarterfinals, uh, to let's say the late uh, stage. Yes. I'm not processing these visas now. I'm working on the visas those of those who are going for the three initial matches. Oh, okay. so, so on an average, how many visas do you think of issuing this time around to Ghanaian fans who want to go and support your team? Well, what people say is that there will be four to 5,000 Ghanaians going. And will you be, seven, will you be able to sell the 4,000? Of course. Yes, uh, how many visas have you issued so far, or when do you intend to issue most of the visas? Well, I think we have issued around 500 visas so far. Uh, we are still continuing with other visas, okay, because we are giving visas for business, for official delegations, so we are still working. In the final? Yes. That means you'll be supporting Ghana, I guess. I will be supporting Ghana, definitely. Oh, come on, don't tell me because of the cameras. No, no, no. Well, you let's, let's wait and hope that the situation will be presented. And then I'll deal with my dilemma. <laughs> <laughs> let's wait and see what happens. Maybe we'll continue this interview after the World Cup. And subsequently, I'll be asking her what has been her assessment of the World Cup so far. I was with the Brazilian ambassador to Ghana, who is none other than Miss Irene Gala sharing some sort of experiences in Ghana, the investment aspect, the democratic aspect, almost everything, as you all know. Okay. Thank you so much. My pleasure.